friends, it is Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to the Board Game Garden. I have my laptop beside me here because we are going to be looking at some unreleased games that I have found on Instagram and on Board Game Geek in different places that I am really, really looking forward to. So there's going to be 10 that we're going to talk about. They are either ones that I've seen that are coming to Kickstarter soon. Some of them might already be on Kickstarter currently and some are like unannounced, no idea when they're coming to Kickstarter or if they're just coming to retail or whatever. Regardless of all that, all I know is that I love the look of these 10 games and I'm really excited to learn more about them, see more about them, and then possibly get them in the future. So without further ado, if you guys wanna see these 10 unreleased games um, that I'm looking forward to, then just keep on watching and let's get in to this video, shall we? So the first game that I wanted to chat about, I have mentioned this one already. I believe I mentioned this in the tabletop tag that I uploaded, but the first one is Septima. This is a game that is being published by Mind Clash Games, and I believe it is coming to Kickstarter soon. I believe it's coming to Kickstarter on the 16th of June, and Septima is build your own witch coven, enthrall the townsfolk, and rise to power as the new Septima. It sounds really, really cool. The mechanisms are area majority, which I think I, I like area majority more than I like area control and just like the direct combat between players. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think someone mentioned in the comments of my tabletop tag kind of what I dislike. It's not necessarily the mechanism of area control, but it's more the like head-to-head -head conflict, I guess. So this is area majorities or area influence. Um, we also have hand management, simultaneous action selection, and variable player powers. So the really cool thing that I read here is basically you are all picking from nine different action cards. You have move, collect, brew, which you brew potions, which is super fun, heal, recruit, plea, chant, write, and remember. So you all choose one of your um, actions to do and basically you can perform some actions together but you want to kind of choose wisely because if you are doing the same action together it kind of attracts the attention of the townsfolk and you could potentially get in some trouble for that. So there's a little bit of like a cooperative action there. I think it's really cool that, and I just overall really, really love the whole witchy coven theme of this. I am just so, so excited. The art looks absolutely fantastic and I definitely recommend going and checking it out. Like I said, it will be up on Kickstarter on the 16th. But that is number one, that is Septima. Next up is a game that I just saw announced just recently. It is from a new publisher, but I believe this publisher, which is Pika Games, is like going to be a sister publisher to Fantasia Games. Um, and that game is Flow. This game, it's F-L-O-E. This game looks so stinking cute. I believe its artist is Andrew Bosley. Um, I think who no did Andrew Bosley do Everdell yes so this is the same artist that did Everdell and again it has like really cute creatures and basically you are embarking on a heroic journey across the iceberg sea and it looks so cute the cover is adorable you guys will see the cover here that is basically all we know about this game so far um, because they've only released the cover photo. I haven't really seen any sort of game um, gameplay pictures, but mechanisms is action drafting, area movement, tile placement, and variable player powers. So I really do love variable player powers. I also really love tile placement. So this one sounds really, really cool. Um, on each turn, you take actions by drawing tiles from a shared bag. That sounds super cool or by returning previously drawn tiles to the bag. These actions allow you to activate your hero, sail your boat, add new regions to the map, and draw cards into your hand. Ooh, fun. Um, I have seen pictures of all of like the little characters. They've been posting those, and it's just so stinking cute. 
I love the look of the game. I love the sound of the mechanisms and stuff like that. So super, super excited to see more about Flow by Pika Games. Moving on to the third game. This is actually one that I have already backed on Kickstarter. It is still on Kickstarter when this video goes up. So I definitely recommend going and checking it out. It is Bark Avenue. This um, went up on Kickstarter on, I forget, I think it was like May 24th possibly, but I backed it on the first day. I knew I've been looking forward to this one for a while, but Bark Avenue is actually a first game that is being published by Teradice Games. Mackenzie and Jonathan are fellow content creators, um, board game YouTubers. They were obviously board game YouTubers before I was, but I really enjoy their content. Um, they do a lot of like couple board game videos and stuff like that. So really, really love their content. And when they announced that they have been designing a game for like two years and it was about dogs and walking dogs in New York City, I was like, oh my goodness, I knew I had to have it. So Bark Avenue is a pick up and deliver game where you are a dog walker in New York City and you have some like dog cards and you're going and picking up a dog and walking it. And I believe there's like some, what is it called? Like route building, route optimization. That's what it is. There's some route optimization. So you're trying to pick different dogs that kind of work well together for, you know, gaining as much points as possible. There's dice rolling, hand management, different events come up um, and stuff like that. I'm super, super excited to see this one. Like I said, I've already backed it on Kickstarter. It was my first ever back on Kickstarter. I've never actually backed a game on Kickstarter. So Bark Avenue is my first one and it can play one to five players, which I'm excited to see some solo play of that as well. And I'm just so excited for Mackenzie and Jonathan for doing that. And I'm super excited to see the game um, physically. So yes, that is Bark Avenue. Game number four is one that is the cutest cover ever. I'm looking at it right now. And that is Maple Valley. This is the next in the Creature Comforts world from KTBG or Kids Table Board Games. Um, I have yet to try Creature Comforts, but it is like the next on my list. I want to try that game so bad. And it does have a solo play to it. So I'm very excited to try that out. Um, Maple Valley also has um, solo. Um, so it's one to five players and I don't really know a ton about this one so far But the mechanisms that it has here is hand management and set collection. So that's interesting um, I think creature comforts is it's like dice uh, worker placement So this one seems to be completely different than creature comforts, but it still has the same um, like artist and I believe yes, it's from Roberta Taylor as well and I'm just so excited to see more about this one. I believe this one is coming to Kickstarter a little bit later in the year. I think it's in like October, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is when it is. And I'm very, very excited to just hear more about this. But yes, that is Maple Valley. Next game is one that I have not heard anything about. I don't think Renegade Game Studios has announced anything about this yet, but it does say that it's being released in 2022. Um, but it is from Renegade Game Studios, like I said, and it is The Search for Lost Species, which I have The Search for Planet X. That is an amazing space astro astrological um, deduction game that I am obsessed with. I love deduction games, you guys know, and this one is kind of in the same um, series, I guess, but it is The Search for Lost Species. The only mechanism that it has listed is deduction. And I believe it's going to be the same sort of concept as the Search for Planet X, but it's going to be a slightly different theme. There might be a little bit of differences within the gameplay, but I'm super, super excited about this one. Being a lover of like animal themes, um, I do say that I, I like animal, or I will say that I like animal themes more than um, space themes most of the time. So um, I am excited to uh, try it out and see what it's all about. But yes, that is the search for lost species. Moving on to number six. This is one that I've seen quite a bit over on Instagram. Um, they've been kind of teasing it here and there, but 
that is globe trotting this is an interesting looking game it is nothing like i've ever seen um it is says it's being released in 2023 it is from road to infinity games which is r2i games um they are the publisher that made canvas which we love canvas and i feel like this publisher is really um pushing the boundaries of board games because i love canvas and i love the creativity that they had with that game but in globe trotting all I've seen is every player gets this physical like globe that you are writing on and you are like planning different trips like traveling to different places on this little physical globe I believe this is a roll and write somehow I don't know um, but it's just very very intriguing um, mechanisms it has its bingo I don't know why it's bingo contracts line drawings network and rope building and simultaneous action selection so those are the mechanisms it sounds really interesting it says each round three destination cards are revealed each player simultaneously selects one destination and adds it to one of their three trips by drawing the travel route on their own globe that's so freaking cool it's like so <laughs> so creative so that is number six, that is globe trotting. Yeah, four more to go. The next one is Woodcraft, which this one looks very cute. I, just the, the theme of this really brought me in and I've not seen anything like this before, but Woodcraft, you are playing as woodland elves, gathering wood and building up the best workshop. Are you kidding me? That is the cutest thing. This is from uh delicious games the publisher and uh you're playing as elves running competing workshops in the woods uh with you gathering wood and crafting goods for your customers along the way you hire helpers improve your workshop and buy different types of wood and other tools create the best workshop you can are you kidding me the cutest thing i don't know when this is coming out um it does say 2022 I haven't really heard any sort of release date if it's coming to Kickstarter, game found. Um, mechanisms here is contracts, dice rolling, end game bonuses, income, order, counters, I don't know what that means, um, as well as solo and variable player powers. So that is Woodcraft. The whole like woodland elves in their workshops just has me. I, I am so excited for that one. <laughs> So the next one is honestly one that I don't know a ton about the gameplay, but I saw it on Instagram and the board looks super cool. And also the art style is so cool. I absolutely love the look of this one, but it is Evergreen, which it says it's going to be coming out in 2022. It is from Horrible Guild, I believe is the publisher. And it says, make your planet as verdant as possible. Verdant or verdant as possible, especially in valuable biomes. Interesting. Also, if you guys can hear some banging, it's because Francis is working out upstairs. But I don't know, just the art really has me. It's absolutely gorgeous. The board, again, there's like some um, like double layer boards and you're placing different things onto your like own planet. It's, it's just looking real cool to me. Like I said, this one's probably the one that I know least about the gameplay but the art and just the look of the game has me. So that is Evergreen by Horrible Guild. Next up, we have a game from Pencil First Games. Um, I have Sunset Over Water and I have been interested in checking out um, Herbaceous and Floriferous, um, but this is kind of, it looks like it's the next in that like small box series from Pencil First Games. And that is Delicious, which it's kind of a funny name, but it is a roll and write, I believe. Um, I think it said something about like a roll and write meets set collection, I believe um, I saw on Instagram, but fill your garden with delicious fruits and vegetables. So fun. We have paper and pencil, set collection, simultaneous action, and solo. Ooh, you can play it solo. That's fun. But again, this one just has gardening, food, pencil first games. Love the sound of all those things. Um, vegetables. It's, it's just the cutest thing. So that is one that I've definitely had my eye on for quite a long time. I believe they announced it like 
sometime in 2021, but I have not heard anything about when it's being um, released, but very, very excited to uh, hear more about that one and see when it's going to be released. That is delicious. <laughs> and then the last game that we are talking about is one that is very close to my heart that just recently got announced um, by Funforge, and that is Tokaido Duo. So this is Takaido meant for two players, which is so fun. If you do not know, Takaido was probably our first, I like to say it was our first game that we bought and got us into the board game hobby. And I just love Takaido so much. It's like my comfort game. So when I saw that they were coming out with a two player specific Takaido, I am very, very excited. Um, again, it's from Funforge Games. Um, they haven't really showed a ton. They've been showing a few pictures of like people playing prototypes and stuff. So I don't know. This one might not be coming out for a while. Um, it doesn't even have any like mechanisms listed on the page. All it has is in Takedo Duo, you move on an island, seeing stuff and making memories. That is all it has written here. So very excited. It does say 2022, so I don't know if it's just getting released to retail. I'd be interested to see when this one comes out, and I'm excited to see more about Takedo Duo, because it just like, it makes me so happy. It's very nostalgic. So that is Takedo Duo. I will say that I do want to try out Namiji as well. Namiji is like the second in the Takedo kind of series, and then they also now have Takedo Duo. So just all of those games I, I would really love to try. I believe I can actually pre-order it on Board Game Bliss right now, but I have been holding off because I've been buying too many board games and we're trying to get all of our unplayed games played before we get any new ones. So Namiji is definitely one on my list, but I'm also looking forward to Takedo Duo. So guys, that is everything for 10 unreleased games that I am looking forward to in the future. Some of these might be coming out soon, some of them in quite a while, but I just overall am so excited. A lot of these just drew me in and captured my attention right away with the gameplay and with the creativity and with the art, obviously, because I'm a big theme and art person, but yes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have yet to do so. Our garden here is growing and we would love to have you as part of the garden. Um, also comment down below any other unreleased games that you guys have seen that you think I would um, enjoy or be interested in as well. I would love to know that. Um, I'd love to know your opinions on any of these games, if you're excited about them as well. Leave them down in the comments. I love, love talking to you guys down there in the comments. So yes, thank you guys so much for joining. <laughs> I'm gonna say, remember you're somebody's reason to smile again because I haven't figured out an ending little quote for the board game garden yet, but I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.